Hey YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, however you found me. Hey family, um, I want to finish up the mini cereal box and show you how to do the mock-up and the actual wrap of it. So this is how it will look when you open it in Photoshop. I'm just going to double click, pretty simple, where it says double click to change. I'm going to go and I'm just going to get my raw template because I actually didn't save this as a PNG or anything like that. If you did save it as a PNG, you can bring it in, you can crop out the areas you like, whatever you want to do to do it. But mainly, the point is to fit that front cover on the mock-up. So let's go ahead. I'm just zooming out so I can see my full screen here for a second. And we had a little glitter at the top, and we have glitter flaps. So I'm going to pull that out a bit. Make sure it's centered. Hit enter and file save. It's going to update itself. And I'm going to come back here. Now you see it on this. So it updated. And then I'm going to double click this version, uh, the side of the box. Zoom out a bit. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to grab what I already was playing with. Let's close out some of these windows so I can see it. I'm just going to drag it over, or you could place embed it, or you can drag and drop, whatever works for you. And then I'm just going to fit it so the side fits. And if you want to do the back, you and the other side, do the same exact thing, but make sure you save, you know, the first one when you do the front, then come back and do the back. Hit enter. I'm going to... Bring that in, bring that in, just a bit. There we go. And I'm going to drag this out a little bit. And I'm holding shift because I need to manipulate it a little bit. Let's zoom out some here. All right, there we go. So you just kind of want to fit it in there as best as you're able, um, manipulating it, because this one's a little narrow. So let's go ahead and keep, I'm just trying to get it perfect as best as I can. I'm just um, adjusting it, hit enter, file, save. And I'm going to go back over to my mock-up, and it should be updating now, which it is. Boom, it's in there. So the other thing, you know, sometimes you'll do these markers like, mm, do I really like it? But this is a good chance for you to see. So we had those glitter flaps on the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this box color here to white so that it's simple. And then I'm going to just do a quick pattern overlay. And I'm just going to change it to that same glitter, you know, pattern that I have on my template which is already defaulted to it. And if you want to scale it down or up, you know, to make it blend in better, you can absolutely do that here. So I'm just going to keep it there, keep it about three, hit OK. And that's your mock-up. So, you know, you can always look at 100% to make sure everything looks good to you. And this is a little different, this pattern. So let's fix that pattern up. Because I want it to match. So I just double clicked on pattern overlay. And I'm going to increase the scale a bit. Let's see here. Too wide. Too, it's like giving me all kinds of things. So let's see. Let's do normal. Oh, let's keep multiply. Let me do color burn. Do multiply. Yeah, so keep it at multiply and then just kind of play with it. Um, so this is when it gets a little tricky. It may or may not be okay. But I think for, you know, your purposes of showing to your customer that they would be very pleased with this. And um, let's see. Yeah. So 
we'll just leave the settings as they are. And um, if you know you're like, oh, maybe you do this, you're like, I don't like that pink or I don't like those glitter, you know, you can definitely come through and change everything on your template and adjust it. Your mock-up gives you a chance to look at your design and be like, yay or nay, you know. So I'm kind of not loving the glitter borders, but maybe my customer would because it just kind of flows in weirdly. So let me go and see if I like it without that like glitter at the top. And all I'm going to do before, because... This is easier for me to do than going and changing the template, coming back in, saving it, all that kind of stuff. Let's just adjust our mock-up real quick. Hit enter. And if I like this, then I'll go fix the template. Yeah, see, I like that better. So I would go back to my template and just fix it. And that's pretty much it. I would do file, save as, a PNG to display online. You can use the background or not use it as your logo, you know, incorporate whatever you want to do, and that makes it perfect. So when I would change this um, template, I would just kind of bring this all the way up so it's only on the tabs. And now this would be my new design. So hope this was helpful. Hope that this helped you to understand how to create it. And now what I want to do is show you how to put the wrapper together. Um, so if you have any questions, always, you know, comment below, ask me. Um, you can find me on Facebook at the same name, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how to put it together.